and welcome to the gray area. I am Jasmine, your host, and I'm here with the lovely Miss China and the also beautiful chocolate girl. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and today we're going to discuss blended families. Did you ladies know that over 40% of the families here in America are blended? Hmm. No, I, I can only you. imagine. I'm surprised it's not more. <laughs> no, honestly, when I saw 40%, I was like, that's it? Yeah. Right. Like, everybody I know, dad is somebody else and mama somebody else. But, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, what I want to talk about today is, you know, there's a lot of ugly to blended families, mm -hmm. but I also want to show how it's also a beautiful way of living. So, you know, go ahead and, you know, let's discuss. Okay. The discussion is open. The table is <laughs> <My> open. <laughs> So, where are we going? We, yeah, I mean, look, go ahead. For me, I've only experienced it from the outside, looking in. I don't have any children, so I don't have any blendedness in my life. I've only seen what other co-parents look like. Mm -hmm. So, whether I'm dealing with, you know, the father who is dealing with a very, most of the time it's stressful. I've not had... Now, <laughs> yeah, peaceful situation. Not now, not now <laughs> situation that was just like really cop aesthetic, right? So you know, right? But and it's really a shame that um in the you know and we most of the time is not like that for us. We don't have a lot of examples of healthy right. co parenting situations. Right. It's always either the baby mama don't like the. The wife, the girlfriend, or something. It's never, like, a healthy situation. Right. So what do you think kind of starts and shifts, you know, to come over to that healthy situation that you talk about? Um, I feel like it's uh, healing. Healing? Yeah. Uh, I feel like people, for one, people have children and they're not in a good place. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not really healed enough to have children and make sure that they're raised in a right, you know, foundation. Right. They usually it's use the emotional over logic. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's usually hella emotional over logic for me. Yeah. In yeah. my experience, that's what I've seen. Yeah. Let's talk about that foundation a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that it's really important to be able to heal, you know, right. for my, my situation, I'm married. Mm -hmm. I am, you know, in the middle of two different blends. I have a daughter that, you know, has a father. Right. And my husband, he has two daughters outside of our marriage. Right. And so, you know, on this end with my daughter, it's healthy. Now, it didn't start that way. Right. We was outside. Right, yeah. We Look. was fighting in the street. <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> you call the cops. You, oh, fuck you. You know, so... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it took us a while to get there. You know, like now me and his wife, uh, Nay, love her. Y'all yeah, know Nay. Yeah. We got the same birthday. We didn't live together. We, we didn't party with Nay. Party right. with, like, yeah. Nay, that's, I, I'm her baby mama. She called me baby mama, but I call her baby mama too because right. her son, that's my son. Right. So it it's be. so healthy. And people look at us and they be like, how do y'all coexist? Like, yeah. how? You want to know my secret? I don't want her husband. Packs. Mm. I feel like when That's you, the key. yes, like yeah, when you gym. truly are over, over that mm -hmm. person, right. you can have a relationship. Because let me tell you, Nate was a fucking lifesaver. Yeah. Like my daughter, JC, baby, JC had head was nappy if it was up to me. I didn't comb hair. <laughs> but Nate, it, my mama and them, when is that baby going to Nate's house? Like when they going to get her? Because... <laughs> You know, we need her hair done. Like, yeah. or go shopping. Like, I would be like, Nay, how much money you need? Take JC shopping. Because I don't know how to dress this little skinny thing. Right. So, you know, Nay was more of a blessing. And I allowed myself to get out of my own way. Right. And yeah. realize, yeah. like, JC is better off with two mommies, in a sense. With like, a helpmate. With right. a helpmate. Yeah. Right. Yes. And that's how you have to look at that situation as a bonus. Or right. Addition to your family. Like, this doesn't always have to be on me. Like you said, JC Hell was not going to be calm. I can call her stepmama, mm -hmm. and she can come over and help me yeah. with my child. Yeah. Not something, and a lot of females, we, like you said, are yeah. not healed, and so that stepmother is, I don't like her. The enemy. And now, it, basically, yeah. the enemy. You and automatically now you put that into the child's head, and the yeah. child's going to only know what they are being fed on a constant basis. Correct. Facts. You know, if it's even on the slide, she talking about you on the phone with her friends, the child is hearing that. So mm -hmm. then the child comes over acting funny with you. you like, I don't understand why. Like, I treat you well when you come over here. But if you look at your stepmother or the other woman as a helpmate, 
it would be a lot smoother, I believe. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I 100% agree. Like, with my situation, like... But how long did it take you to get there? It did yeah. not take us that long. That's the thing. Nay and I fought for maybe... I wouldn't even say a year. It was less than a year. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of went back and forth because... It, it was me. I needed to heal. And and they came to me and she she was a friend. She came to me as a friend after, you know, we were able to calm down and be level-headed. You know, she came to me and I had to realize, like, damn, Jasmine, like, why are you being like this? And it, at that time, it was because I still wanted her husband. I was like, I still want the family for me and my daughter and da-da-da-da. Mm-hmm, right. yeah. And then and I, like— you're having that. Yeah. yeah. So then I stepped back and I was like— well, fuck you. So yeah. <laughs> I want him, and I love Nay. Like you know, when they getting into it or whatever, or talking about a divorce, I'm like, oh, I'm getting Nay. Like I get Nay. I get Nay at the deal. Like <laughs> listen, <laughs> she can't leave. You can go. You, you the name stays here. But but, but Nay and LJ, <laughs> them, them for them for me. Yeah. Them is for me. <laughs> so, yeah. So you know that's the happy relationship. I mean, I love her. Like I can call her even in my marriage now. I call them, sis, I need advice. Like, yeah, what, what, yeah. She talks me and my Sisterhood. husband through things, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And she's able to talk to him through my growth and everything like that. So I really mm-hmm. love, she's seen it all. <laughs> that she done seen the highs and the lows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. But then, you know, I got that other side where I don't feel like one of my husband's uh, baby mamas is truly over him, right? Right. We're so behind. we could never be like that. And my husband looking at me like, why you can't be w- like you and Nate to them? And I'm just like, baby, that took some, that's some history. Listen. First of all, I got to be over you. And yeah. that's, that hasn't Completely. happened. Yeah, so that Utterly. hasn't happened. Yeah, Can, over you. H- hello? H- yeah, hello? I don't want Well, you somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. So, I mean, that has to happen. And it's not there. I don't know if it'll ever get there. Um, mm. I wish it was a better blended relationship on that end um but i am blessed and fortunate to have a nice blended situation right Um, i do understand both ends Mm -hmm. and from my perspective sis listen i'm talking to you yeah if you're not over this guy it's never gonna be blissful you have to be 100 percent over this person and therefore the child like it's it's weird and amazing when my daughter came to me and was like, Mama, can me, you, Nay, Daddy, and all of us just get one big house? And I was like, girl, go sit down. Yeah. But Why? For, her to, you for yeah. her to love that love from yeah. everybody, yeah. right? Healthy. Yes. Healthy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we ain't living together. We can be neighbors. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. 30 minutes down the road. But, uh, That's no, the no, health. No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, guys, please tell me about oh, your yeah. experiences. So, in, in my experience, for me, it was uh, seeing my mom and my stepmom, mm-hmm. which wasn't the best. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my mom was... One of those ladies that like to be in control of situations. So if she couldn't control the situation, then it was going to be her way or no way. Mm -hmm. So it was no way. Yeah. You understand? (laughs) It was no way. She was going to make a hill. Everybody had to pay. Yeah. (laughs) Everybody had to pay. And that's why I super encourage women to be, you know, like, do this for your kids. Your your, your children are more important than your feelings. Mm -hmm. Your feelings can, yeah, you can work on your feelings. You can get better because really some people come into your life for only a season. Mm -hmm. That man was only a season. Maybe he was only here to bring your kids here to you. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to be this person like, oh, yeah, I'm going to really make this woman's life bad or I'm going to hurt this man because you're really not hurting him. You're hurting your kids. And that's yes. who yeah. really yes. matters in the entire they hurt. situation. Yeah, the they're kid. hurt. Because yeah. I know for sure, like, now as an adult, I see what could have been better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I if But my stepmom, I'm, I love her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she treated me like her own. She taught me so many things. I, I'm for it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you can have two great people, like Jazz was saying. You can have two great people teach your kids something. Mm-hmm. You don't have to teach you know, when you go over there, you better not say nothing to her. Don't talk yes. to her. She yes. gonna, you, can, you don't have to listen to her. Yeah. Teaching your so kids that behavior, but then when you want them to go to school, you want them to listen to people. Right. Yeah. You know but what I'm saying? Be respectful. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Respect yeah. you, their you, family. You, correct. They respect authority figures. Correct. Yeah. I'm sending you to some other woman's house exactly. and I'm telling you, you don't have to listen to her. Yeah. You expect that child to go to school. And, Correct. And listen. But the daddy and the and the other lady saying you have to listen and behave. Right, You're confusing right, right. this child. This exactly. child don't know rules, boundaries, or anything like that. Correct. Because and now they don't have any structure. No listen. structure. Structure gone. Listen. Structure on zero. But to piggyback on something you just said, you made me just realize, I 
I have a stepdad. Mm. And I love that. That man walked me down the aisle for my wedding. Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. And I didn't realize that man came into my life at 12 years old. And, you know, I was a part of a blended family mm-hmm. with my mom and my stepdad. And I'm going to be the first person to say that there's an impact being made, yeah. you know, on the lives of these children. And they're not always good. I've heard yeah, some yeah, horror yeah. stories. For sure, right? for sure. But, you know, for myself, like, yeah, it, it worked for me. Yeah, yeah, It worked yeah, yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah, for sure. So, even um, just for instance, like uh, my my ex husband and 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 Ty, um, best he was the best parent ever. Horrible spouse, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you can get these men that teach and put so much into your kids. You right. know what I'm saying? He's still there for Ty. We're like, not together today, yeah. right. but he's still there for my child. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. some people need that because her her biological dad is not around. Mm-hmm. So sometimes those step parents come in and. Be what they need to be for those kids. So why are we teaching them that they the enemy? You know I have, but like you said, it's because you haven't healed. Correct. Yeah. Because yeah. my current situation is the the mother said I don't ever want another woman around my kid. Right. Right. These kids are older. You know, things are changing. You know, we're trying to build a family. So if your kids ever want to come visit, I feel like she's gonna be like, Mm-mm. yeah. And that that ugliness is gonna rear through the children. Correct. Now, but this is, might not have. But this is my thing. You can say that. So does that mean another man ain't gonna never be around his kids? Correct. And that's not the case because she is now remarried. And yeah. this is the thing: do, do she wants financial support from the baby daddy? Mm-hmm. Does she want? What mm-hmm. does she want? It, it, I'm trying to understand what gives women the audacity yeah. to feel like yeah. they can control. <laughs> yes, if I can't I, control the situation. Then, <clears throat> like like her mother did. If my will, no way. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. really what it is. It's just about her control. And all you do is raise a bitter, broken child. Correct. Because it continues. A product of a mother uh, who could not get out broken. the way and allow her child yeah. to find their own way. Correct. It, that's a so, part of that generational curse. Correct. Yeah, that's a whole other conversation. Correct. Yeah, generational curses. Next uh, listen. Week. Coming up soon. Because it definitely <laughs> continues. Yeah. It definitely continues. because most spirals. Of the, yeah, facts. It just gets worse. Because most of the better. time is learned behavior. Mm-hmm. Everything kids do, learn behavior. Yep. Everything they say, learn behavior. And so, they watch us so closely. Right. So if you're oh that bitter gosh. person, and you, I mean, you, can, I can only imagine how bitter that type of parent is. Right. And that type of controlling person is. Right. Yeah. Everything they do is under scrutiny. Mm-hmm. Right. But y'all lives like that. What? There's no way I would even punish my child like that. Like, whenever she's even went around, you know, her dad's, you know, girlfriends or something, be respectful. Mm -hmm. Make sure you listen. Speak when you go into a house. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to push positivity because you can have from everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can Christmas right. time coming up. Exactly. Birthday time coming up. Your mama need a break time coming up. <laughs> Hello, I need a break. I like breaks. <laughs> that was the one thing too. Like these women are just like, I don't want no other woman around my bitch. That is a come, free baby. Come get him. Do you do you baby? I ain't even got none, but I could just imagine listen. me talking about come get him. Yeah. My, you can come get mine too. Yeah. <laughs> JC, I would book trips. Listen, me and be on the phone. Hey, we going to Vegas. Where we going? Did a trip, book, everything. Hey, uh, who getting JC? I done already booked the trip. So well, somebody still better mama, get grandma, so, somebody you know, better come get it because I'm fighting the ha- Having that blended family and having that extra hand. That village. That village. That's it. It That's helps. It, it Listen, helps. I'm starting my village right now. That's I just it. Want y'all to know. <laughs> I ain't China. <laughs> Listen, hey, James. and you know I love the kids. Right. I love, kids. I, was, I love to spoil them. I know I'm gonna be on the phone. Uh, I'm trying to go with you, so I'm the wrong person to call. You ain't never lie. I'm like, what you calling me for, girl? I'm trying to find a babysitter. Listen, Lord, that's gonna be hell in a handbasket when we start Ooh, that. Lord, Lord. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, I guess what are some tips that we would give our viewers um, if they're looking to? Um, you know, get into a relationship that's going to be blended or they're marrying into a blended relationship. You know, what are some tips that you guys would recommend? Or just suggestions. Yeah. Um, for me, suggestions. for me, I would basically say make sure that the the relationship between the parents. baby the parents mm-hmm. rather are are healthy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Before you even try to insert yourself, because I'm not inserting my... I don't know about y'all, but I'm not inserting myself in no foolishness. Not at all. Because if the boundaries are not already set, and now I got to come clean up your mess because you ain't clean up your mess. What? Let me add to that real yeah, quick, I was though. Say, I'm going to add to that real quick. 
when when you make sure it's healthy, because it's not. It'll I think always be that. no. I yeah. think that you don't take one side mm-hmm. from it, and that's what you know. For my husband's side, mm-hmm. like. I inserted myself like, right. oh no, let me talk to her. We yeah, went yeah, in, yeah, we yeah. went to her house and sat in the front yard and had a conversation. Yeah. Like, you are about to be my husband. Right. She is attached to you. Correct. And you are. I attached. need we to are know one. what the hell I'm getting. I'm not about Correct. to take what you say because it's your side, her side, then the truth and my interpretation. Correct. So, and my interpretation kind of blends those and makes my truth right. Correct. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's not just listening to the baby daddy or the baby yeah. mama. It's inserting yourself. Now, if it's an ignorant person and they don't want to talk to you, you already know yeah. what you're about to have to deal with. But I feel like you all you can still come with come to them with something. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I, I can only imagine how ignorant these conversations can be. Yeah. yeah. And like I'm saying, like yeah. mine has children. Yeah. Multiple. Multiple baby mothers. So I can only imagine when it comes to that time, now, now granted, we ain't there yet. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But if, you know, we start buying houses and properties and everything else that we plan on doing, right. I'm going to have to have a conversation with them. Facts. And, and we want it to be positive. We want it to be. Because, God, we don't want to get in. We don't want to go to jail. Trust and believe. We don't want to go to jail. And, 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 and baby mama? Hmm. Please don't, don't count my Don't count my paycheck. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Can you please stay we, over we, there? We, we blend it. But don't don't count my paycheck. Can don't we stay over there at your house? house? <laughs> don't worry about what we Because when she was like, we start buying houses and cars, and I, mm, that that's a whole nother yeah. playing field. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, I think one of the, the suggestions or tips is uh, definitely communication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, healing. Um, a lot of people don't like going to, to counseling. Yeah. Counseling is fucking amazing. It is. Yeah. Um, I have some resources where you can get low cost counseling and stuff like that if anybody need it. Um, but my husband and I went to counseling and it really helped me learn a lot about me. Yeah. And who I am. And it's what and helped what us. Yeah, it helped us a lot in the the, the foundation, building that foundation right. uh totally. for our relationship. So I definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend that. For sure. I feel like boundaries have to be set too. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boundaries have to be clear and cut. I mean, of course, it's going to be a gray area. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, the gray show. Like, yeah, that's why Come on, the gray show. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's just what this is because mm-hmm. that's life. But if you establish a boundary of, hey, this is my wife, you will not disrespect her. Correct. And this is my baby mother. This is the mother of my children. You mm-hmm. will not disrespect her. Because mm-hmm. I don't want to disrespect your, yeah. my, you know, my future husband's, you know, yeah. exes for no reason. Yeah. For what? For what? Teachers, we, we here together, and we gonna come as a united front, right? On anything and everything, so that's a that boundary has to just be set. Correct. Okay. And and that's another. It, it look logic over emotion is another point to me. Yeah. Logic over emotion. Yeah. 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 Get out logic. your feelings logic and 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 raise emotion. look raise right. these kids. To the best of your without way. your feelings involved, right. you know what I'm saying? Because it could be so much healthier if we stop thinking like, "Oh, we ain't make it, so now I'm finna." No, yeah, right. about to. No. Yeah, yeah. And you know, one of the the thing is that we we don't really say a lot is it's about the child. It That's is. the only thing that matters. Bitch, fuck your feelings. <laughs> it's about the child. Like, what is the girl, best interest you. of the child? The girl, like, fuck you. What is going to help this child be the best person he or she could be, right? Yeah. Like, we, girl, shut up. Like, you made your mistakes. Don't let those mistakes become the generational curses right. for the child. Like, it's that part for me. It's that part of knowing, like, I have, you know, my husband and I have a one-year-old, and Nay's son, LJ, is like, oh, I just had a baby brother. Like, no, that's his baby. You cannot tell him Elijah right. is not his baby brother. Yeah, right. yeah. So it, it's that for me. It's like mm-hmm. seeing LJ walk in the house, and he like, hey, Miss Jasmine. Come here, little brother. Yeah. And I'm just oh. like, oh, we're doing something right now. Yeah, we're it's beautiful. Right yeah. Right yeah. So that's, that's a beautiful have, thing to see. You want to have a beautiful family. Yeah. And you want to live this beautiful life. Yeah. So, and so. it can be that. Another, yeah. it, it can it can absolutely be that. Right. It, another, because if we, another thing we got to stop doing is sleeping with our baby mom and baby daddy. Yeah. 
and thinking mm-hmm. we can bring another person in the picture and we still mm-hmm. emotionally attaching ourselves. We still out here sneaky. My sneaky but that leak. keeps that um, emotional attachment. Yeah. Thing That's why That's you why never you're not be over healthy. You. Yeah. That's why you never get over. We got to stop doing that. Yeah. Because yeah. we be thinking like, oh yeah, you could be my sneaky link and then I'm going to bring you around. I, I guess for me, I'm a little different. I feel like then what's the point of being broken up? Mm. I, I'm a person like when I'm done, I'm done. Like yeah. if I wanted Ooh. to stay with you, I'ma stay with you. So yeah. I mean that's a whole nother yeah. Thank you. They All they did to me. So it's kinda like I don't understand that whole dynamic. Like you really, really cross in the area. I mean, you're in that gray area yeah. again. Yeah. And it's like <laughs> Damn, like you trying to start another relationship with somebody new and then she trying to be there for your kids. So you fucking over her. Correct. And, but you sneaky linking or whatever. Like, yeah. Get, 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 yeah. Get, y'all need to figure this shit out. Y'all grown. Listen. Basically. Y'all is grown. Don't get into a relationship until you over your baby mama. Right. Look, I'm tired. <laughs> or, at least, or at least let the ne- the person you know, hey, I'm still a little attached to my baby mama. Yeah, and if right. that choose to stay, that's on her. But you told her. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's that for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honesty. Yeah. <laughs> How they say it's the best policy. Mm-hmm. But can we do that? And patience, y'all. Patience. Ooh. Patience is it key. Happen. It is not. Me and Nay did not happen overnight. Yeah. We we it started as a little seed. Mm. We on, watered that bitch. <laughs> we watered it. We had to get some fertilizer. Okay. Had to bolt <laughs> into it. Okay. Jose and, then, and them and then, had to come out and help. Uh, I can't do this myself. Javi, everybody. <laughs> and then, you know, that little green thing stuck up. Nice. And then it just started growing and blossoming Come and blooming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bean stalks. Okay. <laughs> Tell my Jack and Jill. <laughs> I mean, they just went up the hill, but. <laughs> <laughs> Holding hands kumbaya now. Yeah. Listen. Now we party. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, man. Well, I mean, is there anything else that you ladies would like to say before we close this week's episode? I think we were. I think we, then we covered it. We covered it. All right. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we want to thank you all for listening to the gray area. Um, our topic today: blended families. Yeah. Uh, check us out next week. Yeah. Look, and don't forget, chase the bag, not the bullshit. Not the bullshit. <laughs> chase the bag, not the bullshit. Follow man. us on at the gray area show on Instagram. <laughs> Thanks.